Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Arcana! Since last time, I sold all of my items, all those honeys that I got, and bought a whole bunch of cards, particularly fog cards, those let you run from battle. Uh, remember that for later, viewers. We're not going to use them right now, but yeah, we got all that stuff there. I bought a whole bunch of new equipment for Rooks, but not for Axe, because we're going to find some new equipment for him in the Stavery Tower. So that's pretty nice. So I wouldn't even bother buying upgrades, but make sure to hold on to that Firebrand for later, viewers. But anyway, let's talk to this guy. Sure. What earthquakes? I'm sure that's not a premonition of any sort, or uh, you got any other useful information? Oh, it's dangerous to go alone. Oh, uh, well, you're not alone, but uh. Huh, really? Remember that for later. But anyway, yeah, okay, so I think that's everything he says, so let's head on over there then. The tower is right in the middle of a volcano? Wow. Or whatever the hell that thing is, I don't know. This dungeon is actually pretty easy, so. Ah, uh, back to classic music, alright. And we've got new enemies here, nothing terribly special. Axe is gonna be a little underpowered because, well, I don't have a new weapon for him, unfortunately. I mean, we'll eventually get one. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, if you have so much money, why not just buy upgrades for Axis? Well, there's a very good reason for that. Uh, I want to save my money, well, for later, obviously. But, uh, yeah, pretty much. I'm mostly going to use my money for honeys on Rooks, uh, the proper honeys for him. But uh, not right now, not until, well, later. So, just trust me on that, viewers. And we got another new enemy there. Whoa, wait a minute. Didn't we already meet up with the Warlocks? Yeah, we did. I made fun of them in the last chapter. I thought I did, anyway. Take that! Yeah. Wow, they got knights and wizards and everything around here. Holy cow. We're dealing with the whole army in this place. Yeah. Yeah, you see how little experience the enemies are giving me there? Okay, um... You know what? Don't even bother. I'm just gonna use my fire cards. That's what we got them for. I lied. Uh, we're actually going to keep using fire cards for a little while. We're actually not that... Uh, on the one... You know what? Screw that! I'm using the fire cards again. Normally I wouldn't do that, but, uh... Nah. Uh, we're actually not that far away from learning the level 3 elemental attack spells. Unfortunately, by this point in the game, most of them are not going to be too useful. So, oh well. Now, yeah, I'm going to use it. I was going to say, I could use it, but it might not be a good idea because it'll make us a little more weaker to the Earth Elemental spells. But for some reason, the enemies are still casting level 1 Elemental spells. I don't know why. But, how did bees get in this place anyway? This is like a huge freaking tower. It's like whenever insects want to get indoors, they can squeeze and wiggle their way through anything. But if you want them to get out, oh no, no, we can't actually figure our way out of the place. Oh, come on, can one of my characters get a turn? There we go. This place is much more straightforward than the ice dungeon. One thing I really like about this dungeon is that every floor is about a quarter of the size of a floor in the ice mine. But there's actually multiple floors to this place, so it, it's kind of nice, though. And it's all very linear. It's not like there's like all these different paths that go up and down and back and forth and so on. So it's not going to be that confusing at all. So I, I really like that better in like a dungeon crawler and such, and that last area, ch or chapter. Holy cow. This place kind of reminds me of that one dungeon in Link's Awakening, where they got all the four floors on the same floor map or something like that. Uh, let me... Okay, this isn't a good example. I'll show you later. Never mind. And by the way, we're going to be making multiple trips through this area. So, uh, don't worry about... Uh, using up your cards or your MP or anything like that. Now, this area may not be as confusing as the ice mine, but it is long. 
Oh, it won't be... Well, I suppose it still won't be... Uh, yeah, I suppose it'll be about as long as the Ice... Or Chapter 3. Yeah, maybe. But it's a lot nicer. I also like the plot progression better, but uh, we'll, we'll get to that soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. Ha ha! Actually, I should have had uh, a Freet out. I like having him out just in case he goes first and I can get a Stomp All, because that can sometimes let X actually kill someone in one shot. Wow, the game is just wailing on me with all these random encounters. Fortunately, some of them are relatively easy to get through. Wow, there you go. But yeah, you see the experience the enemies give here? It's terrible! You'd be better off, if you could, going back to Chapter 3 and just fighting those trolls all day. The enemies in this area do not start giving that great experience until you get much higher in the tower. You may want to be careful with your money in this place, if you're finding money or getting a lot of money, because we're starting to, and look at that money! Because you can't go over 65,535. Just like, just like the Dragon Quest games. Oh, yeah, I brought Merit out to use her uh, healing abilities, but, uh, oh, wow, you're uh, taking quite a beating there. Uh, I guess keep Sylph out for now. Yeah, I don't want the freak to die. I mean, I suppose I could just bring him back to life with full HP and MP if I didn't, but, uh, you know, but I'd, ra I'd rather not see the card torn in half. That, that would be bad. Let you regenerate for a little while. I'm not going to abuse the uh, spinning on a treasure tile trick. The game's not that hard. Okay, there we go. See, we got plenty of tents. If I needed them, I don't. But if I did, there they are. Just pitch a tent right in the middle of this, uh, tower. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Okay, let's see. Let's bring out Sylph. There we go. Doesn't really matter. What's that town? Skarmeleon? Is that you? Well, not that far off. That's... Darama. For boss time! Dara? How did they mistranslate that two seconds after they translated the other way? Okay, well, anyway, this guy is Water Elemental. Unfortunate. And for some reason, he casts Earth Elemental spells. Unfortunately, that does mean that uh, I can't use a Change Attribute spell in order to uh, make my attacks better. So, actually, I probably should have used Dodge All, but, well, whatever. Uh, do not bring in a Freeze for this battle, even if... Oh, you know what? Let's use Defense Impair. That'd be a good idea. There we go. I'm not going to use Attack Impair for this one. Or maybe I should. Ow! Yeah, that wasn't that bad. But uh, I'm going to try and keep Sylph out as long as I can. Because of... Well... Uh, well, yeah, I mean, until her HP gets low. And then I'll switch her out for someone else. Maybe the Water Element until wouldn't be a terrible idea. But that's only when we need some healing there. Why is Rooks taking so little damage compared to Axis with that? Huh. Maybe one of his uh, pieces of armor has some elemental protection on it or something. I don't know. They don't really explain a whole lot when it comes to stuff like that. Like whether your weapon deals more damage to a certain enemy or it has an elemental affinity to it or something like that. Oh! Well, that was easy. Huh. Hey, hey, all right, we got the Earth Spirit. Huh. Well, there we go. And we get day oh There we go. Sorry, that hurt my voice. It's any consolation, viewers. But anyway, we get wall all and petrify all and all that other good stuff. So, well, there you go. And we get Earth Elemental attacks, obviously. Uh, how are you doing, free? Not so good. Uh, okay, I guess we'll keep Deo out for a little... Er, no, there's a lot of Wind Elemental enemies. That'd be bad. Uh, let's go with Merid. Yeah, that's wh why I bought a whole lot of those... 
Yeah, we can use a little. Well, nah, nah. You just, uh, be a meat shield. But yeah, that's why I bought all those, uh, fire elemental cards. Because there's a lot of wind elemental enemies in here. Not to mention, even earth elementals, uh, fire cards aren't that bad against either. So. What the heck is a bugbear? Never heard of that before. Don't worry, most of the tower will not take as long as the first floor. Wow, that was an annoying battle with six warlocks. Just casting Smash 1 over and over and over again. Oh well, we're almost done with our first trip through here. Those other paths, they lead to dead ends. Pay no attention to them. Ah, and here's a see, it's a boss time door. Oh. Hmm, remember what that, uh, what was that guy? The alchemist said? He said there's secret passages around here. So let's use the home spell. Home, home, home! Ah, there we go. That was easy. But anyway, what you're supposed to do is come back here and go back home. Hey, hey, all right, she's back in one piece. All right, sounds like a plan. Uh, she just had a good night's sleep. I think she's fine. I mean, she's only six years old. Ha <laughs> yeah, I've played this JRPG before. Uh, what, no... New party member victory noise? Nuts. Okay, well anyway, the reason I was holding on to that firebrand is for Sala. Because it gives her really good really good attack power, and you're not gonna find a better weapon for her for quite some time. So I really like having that on her, and you can't buy it in this chapter. I think it's better or almost as good as anything else you can buy here. And it's really cheap too. It's like it was like a thousand gold. So that's why I bought that. I've got some more shopping to do, and then we'll continue through the Stavery Tower. Can Sala help us get through the door? And what's on the other side? Can we stop Ariel's evil plan? Find out next time on Let's Play Arcana! This is H. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.